Welcome back. Uh, previously, we were looking for the, the vampire guy whose hand got chopped off <laughs> uh, with our vampire friend. I don't remember his name. Um, and we kind of got the lead from the vision and we're going to follow that lead today. But first, we're going to do some like little side quests on the map. And I was told that this is a really like fun, good side quest. So we, we are here. And we're going to talk to this lady now. What makes you insane? You're tormented. By what? Forgive me. But I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I no longer trust my senses. Uh... <laughs> yes? No, I'm a witcher. Yes. Meaning I'm physical. No specter or vision, if that's what you fear. Don't trust your senses? Why? A foulness, a demon or wraith, haunts me, grants me no rest. It wants something. I sense this, but know not what. Each day it appears, tarries, then leaves. It's here now, there, beyond the trees. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the dew, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endured these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. Uh, what does the demon look like? This demon of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. Its hoofbeats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops, stares, then runs on. Sure it's not just a wild horse, run-of-the-mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil condensed. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing. Still my breath and heart. <laughs> Roach is up to no good. It's Roach. What's your brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong tripping? visions. You drop in some mushroom, chumber tub, dancing dewlap? Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Grey top? Variety's extinct, if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of grey top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, Greytop produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Also, yes, there's I something watching them. us. Better that than to know it is there, but not know where. Hmm. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. Ooh, this is interesting. And tells you wish your senses to investigate the area and find what's tormenting the hermit. Oh. Um, Medallion's vibrating. Magic nearby. Just can't see a source anywhere. Yeah, there was something watching us from here. It seemed. Hi T, welcome. Dead moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Hmm. hmm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. Kiwi! Small. Can you interact with it? Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. Common grey top. Strong hallucinogen. Not extinct. Don't often get to see that. And is nigh <laughs> your way to put faith in good uh term profit retention. Hmm. I feel like it's one of those little blue creatures. Something drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Maybe. Gotta talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. Witcher. 
Heard flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs. To appease the gods, gain their forgiveness. That why you do it? We've each our own reasons. I seek to atone for the suffering of a living being, which once fell victim to another's vanity. I care not for humankind, preferring instead the company of Atmos. Hades? <laughs> Most likely some kind of wraiths tormenting you. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak, spent lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites. Of course, there are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present. Always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Hmm. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The great top. I shall make a brew of it for you. I've two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. This mushroom, even in me, could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how Great Top would affect a mutated body. Hmm. A proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. All right. High time we tried this. I wonder why you guys like this quest. <laughs> Is it gonna be like funny trips or something? You're about to find out, oh no. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it. <laughs> hey yo. Uh oh. Carol's? See no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. <laughs> Even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. But wait, uh, Roach? Roach is a girl. Why didn't she sound like this? Your voice, it's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound, uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? As far as I know, I'm your first. Good point. <laughs> Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. Oh no. <laughs> Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Hey, know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? <laughs> well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Huh? <laughs> Still kinda strange. How you cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. 
This is- I've been yelling at the roach this entire playthrough. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right, monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants or small animals. I see why she prefers company of animals now. She can just talk to them. Oh my god, can I talk to Kitty? Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Um, so, okay. Clever man, is that it? Fuck off. Leave me alone, darn it. Clever man, is that it? Fuck off. Greetings. Yeah, this is how I expected for Roach to sound like. Uh, me. Greetings. There was see another Katie. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. These were left by an astral being. By the worldly. We gotta follow them. There was a Katie in this house too. Okay, never mind. <laughs> is Roach playing Gwen? Geralt, look! This here's definitely a clue. Dead moths. Often mean a phantom's nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh, seriously? Lepio to keep you from hanging right. too. Now I know what we're up against. Greetings. Talk to me. You've been to Zaracania. For due respect. So the morning after is it? Oh fear. Have you been there? What a dog doing. Hmm. Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. <laughs> is is she the Witcher now? <laughs> um... We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. It visits the hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An Umbra actually makes sense. <laughs> Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, Doofus. It's right over there. Doofus? Oh. It's getting away! Come on, witcher! Hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! Is Roach gonna, like, autopilot? There's the Umbra! Let's oh, go, Geralt! Right. After it! Okay, come on. Hey! Gotta save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. <laughs> Geralt, we gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. You'd really do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand, be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. <sighs> Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, toward where I'm standing? Yeah, and it'd be great if you could respond more fluidly to my commands. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, Hey, pal, why the long face? Wait, do I hit Let's the Let's not lose sight of that Umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <sighs> like, do I need to hit it? Oh, okay. Uh, find out where it's coming from. As long as we're being candid, I gotta ask. Why do you sometimes buck me off in the middle of a fight? First I've heard. I don't recall that ever happening. Of course you don't. Girl boss, gaslight. 
What? 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 You, what? what? <gasps> Melted into thin air. Sorry, Kitty. Knight. Died last year. Was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all. Helps me focus. Geralt, it's the Umbra! Attack! I mean... Let me explain! Yeah, he's not hostile. Hi! Talk, but make it fast. Why are you tormenting the Hermit? She torments me! Refuses to forgive me! I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing! Each day I come and beg her for clemency. <laughs> beg her for clemency? You drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes, a monstrous force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. What's the link? You and the hermit, how do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I... I loved her. Yet she was always sad. Nothing could cheer her. The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor. So I did my damnness to take us from our village. Aww. Make us a better life elsewhere. Became a squire, took her with me to the palace. But Panastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. I left the court to be near her, yet she cast me off, said she didn't want to know me. When the whip bearers proved too hard-hearted for her, too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now, though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once. Now I understand why she had to cast me off. Hmm. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an Umbra. Hmm. What's with the horse? Why appear to her as that? She likes animals why take more? take the form of a horse? Maybe? That's why? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I died, a power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Hmm. Then I return with blood in my mouth. I don't know what this is, how it comes to pass, but I do know the torment will continue until she forgives me. But she sees me as a horse, you say? Interesting. So. Same way I saw you. 
must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you. Would rather see you suffer. <laughs> roach what just... did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... I have flogged it to death. Pinastri, she saw this. Like... Proud stallion, my blaze. Stabbed it, but or...? But he was a bucker and tossed me during a tourney. One I'd wanted to win badly. And just kill the horse? The fuck? Pinastri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Me, a peasant's son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me lose. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck until at last he fell. Oh, it's whipping. Okay. That's so sad. Oh, the regret. I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not the one who... Yeah. Can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could? Please, I'd do anything. I'm desperate. H help me. Shouldn't he ask for forgiveness, like, to the lady? Noble mayor, forgive me my sin. Oh, I mean, what he did was really bad, but I don't think it's something that should, like, torment him for the rest of his afterlife, you know? It's a bit much could free his spirit, pardoning him on behalf of his horse. Yeah. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think he deserves forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. Cause that's how we horses are. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful, don't hold grudges, don't dwell on being left in monster-infested woods. So, in your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel it's incredible. Such relief, such lightness. Yeah, that, that's nice. Sounds like character from Fallout. We should drink this more often. <laughs> All right, then. Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost free from now on. Anything to add, Geralt? Nope. Let's go see her. Oh. Would be fun if Roach could speak, but then I feel like eventually it would get kind of annoying. Maybe? <laughs> like, not. It would, it would not be a serious game, you know? Too goofy. Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did. As if I'd been released from a cramped dunk cellar. This music always makes me sad. Yeah. No one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. I'm well aware Witcher's work for hire for pay but i've no coin alas i can offer only this mm, potatoes <laughs> good crop this hey day. it's great exceptional ought to thank my horse actually phantom's departure mostly roach is doing then i thank you too noble creature gotta admit Easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path, ride to the nearest notice board, rustle up another contract? Exactly. Oh, effects of the bruise waning. I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you, and... Oh, Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. Can we hug Roach? It should be an option. 
This was so cute. Wait, we got an entry for Roach. What the heck? You can pet her? Geralt had the chance to find out exactly how serious Roach took her role and well versed in the arcana of which her trait she was. Uh, she, he also discovered uh, she had an entirely pleasant conversation. Aww. <laughs> oh, you gotta hold the button. Okay, hold on. Pet the roach. I could have petted her so many times throughout this playthrough if I knew this was an option. Okay, what is. Oh! Okay, this looks interesting. The dressings, bandages, where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. What? Oh, but he breathed still a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Breathed his last then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. God. Yeah. What happened here exactly? I... I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him, dress his wounds. Then you appeared. Everything a stranger, admirable, all sounds fishy. Let's not jump to any conclusions. Pretty admirable stopping to help a stranger. Truthfully? When I saw him, I considered it might be an ambush. The thought entered my mind. I near decided to crack the whip. But to abandon a man in need? It's simply not the decent thing to do. Decent enough in many other places, believe me. Yeah, in this world? Before you go on, clean your hands thoroughly and burn your shirt. Might also want to rub some time on your body to be sure. The smell of blood might attract ghouls otherwise. Who? Who might you be, precisely? A witcher. Oh. Uh, 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 do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? Hmm. Let's find out. See what we have here. Legs broken, but cause of death's the wound. Small but deep, edges unfrayed. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mm. Breastplate's unusual, dented, and it's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. I deal in these things, so uh, what's puzzling is, why did he don it? Not likely to learn that from him. Now to figure out where he came from. From that house, I'm assuming, but need to investigate. Got some work to do, so, so long. I need to dye his gloves and um shoes wait it's I too brown with you. compared to the rest yeah gotta be kidding no i don't think he should uh gotta be kidding this isn't a garden romp whatever killed him's damn dangerous and... And, and and it might still prowl the area so if it's all the same i prefer to accompany you Mm, so be it. But stay close. Keep it down. He's gonna have a health a bar. Extreme cosplay? Trail leads to the house on the hill, which stands silent as a grave. Is this guy cosplaying as helpless person passing by? Hmm. <laughs> now I'm suspicious. Must have been here he broke his legs. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property, probably, after he didn't manage to open the gate. Damn, what the hell happened? Burned alive. Really high temperature at work here. Lepiota, thou art my defender and protector. Thou bringest good news. Damn it. Oh, God. What the hell's this? Setting for a banquet? It seems so. What's your suspicion? Did none survive? Gods. 
If it's this guy and he is kind of goofing... Oh my god, this is so sad. I wonder what happened. Silver tableware. Elven engravings. Hmm. Servant. Stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post-mortem. I cannot believe this is the work of a man. Dozen it was blows. A to be sure. I mean, that sounds like revenge. Like, uh, like, you know, someone, like an emotional pa kill of, um, murder of passion or something. Torso punctured with great force. Blow it was her husband. Steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. Her legs were cut off. Her face was cut off. Her ears were cut off. <laughs> Throats massacred. One mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Sword ceremonial. And Shea handiwork clearly. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Watch so many crime shows. It's either a husband or a rejected lover or something. Ceremonial bowls for little sacrifices. Of what? Please do not say humans. Burn marks. Something catch fire. Explode. Hmm. Strong stench. Were they summoning something? Multiple wounds on the body. All puncture wounds, but hard to tell what caused them. Victim's human, but the attire's elven. Are you certain? How did he come by it? We've so few non-humans in Tucson. Okay, I guess we have to just go in. Fled, then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. Ooh, maybe someone is alive. Double it scorched. Wriggled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. There's a sound coming from there. Hold on. Can we go through here? No. Perhaps there's no one inside of I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. Open up. We mean you no harm. Hey. Hey, remain there? Who? Well, yeah. Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits? It all occurred to of a sudden. We were staging a scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then... Felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here, and it shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but, but in the end, it, uh, it grew calm. Hmm. Who are you exactly? D Durant Fosher Plamondon de Saffaran, Lord of these lands. And oh, he is chairman of the Society okay. of Friends of so... the History of Tutor. Mm -hmm. He's like the head. Then we meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin homage. But something like this, why it's uh, first? Hmm. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow unintentionally, you summoned a specter, a Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Best thing. You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job. 
Summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least three individuals. Oh, so this place used to belong to elves? That's why the si I said the city looks kind of elfy, especially the, the Duchess's palace. It has lots of like really beautiful elements of that look very elfy. Okay. Damn it. Can't risk. Can't expose you to danger. Master? If what you say is truth, then I was the cause of this massacre. Unintentionally, yet nonetheless, mm. I've a duty to assist you. A moral one. Gods have us in their care. I shall help as well. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. Interesting. They should help me summon and then just run and hide. <laughs> I will stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludovic upon the elfin throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enche ruler. We must don the costumes. All must be just right. The Vethef, the elven king, hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own it's throne. Clipping. Amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of no. torches. Okay, it's not anymore. Wait, that's so cool. Hold on. That looks really nice. Can I save here, please? I think I recover losses from fight elves, uh, which is why my head cannot a lot of elves would probably support Wild Hunt. Hmm. Yeah, I was told that the elves in this world are mostly racist, which is really stinky. Because. Yeah. Laid at Lutovic's feet, a loaf of I love elves. and elf and bread, thus granting humans rule over seat yielding lands. Then I just put them in here. The Petha filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. Gwinoet, the sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. At long last, the elfin king grasped his sword and shield. Elven sword and shield. Uh huh. Thus, symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. The elfin king, erect in his pride, drew his blade and dropped to his knees. Thus, Lutovic then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to... What? Ah, look! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother! <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Stop! Damn. Get the elf mage first. Oh my god. 
The sculptures. They came alive. No, they were alive. By what witchcraft. They just Dunno. became Specialized statues. In killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. They wanted I, to avenge elves. I may know Damn. what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. This Defethov was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethev had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such, columns activated with words said in homage, columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Pshh. <laughs> Time for me to go. Humans are no better. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this as your reward. Farewell. Damn. So they were golems. Interesting. Any coins? Uh, okay, let's let's do twelve. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Hello. Come here. Leave him alone. It's a kid. Just Come who on. Just the spit are you? I'm a witcher. <laughs> his father. Yeah, let's let's intimidate them and tell them that we are his dad, so they do not do this again. His father, and you won't touch him. I won't let you. Oh, poppycock! I knew his father, a grifter, a cheat, just like his brood. Oops. I'll teach him honesty. He'll not leave muck at our shop door just to draw patrons to his own stall. So back away, drifter. Okay, fine. Not gonna happen. Won't it? I'm well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Bat move. We'll break your legs, vagrant. Teach Circle him! Circle him! Cheats. Take the it! Oop. Ow! Ever fight a witcher? Ow! Blood. Okay. One. I'm level fifty. What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast <gasps> on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. Damn. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Making things difficult for me? Yeah, I'm not gonna get them killed. Come on. Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out, though. Uh-huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lot, that's another matter. No! You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Well, okay, that's fine. Come on. As long as they don't get killed, because that's too much. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. What a little businessman. Yeah? How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership. 
where I see to the boots while you stand guard, and as you're the stronger, come morn you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true? They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. So he can make money while but I'm my asking boots questions? Are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamped. A seat, sir, please. He is so cute. Little businessman. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get wastewater for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. If he was... If he had a TikTok, he would be one of those like business uh, investor accounts. <laughs> like, um, what do they call it? Tech bros? People who talk about Bitcoin and invest in, like investing and just things like that. <laughs> it would be him. How to become a millionaire in five days. Sure thing. Finance bro, right. yes. <laughs> Let's see if we can't figure something out. I will give you... I will give you 350. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. <sighs> okay, fine. I will give you... Four hundred. Hmm. It's not quite... Okay, 450. Ah, see? I knew we'd clinch it. Sure, take it. Fine. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No, but you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now... If I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a Damn. fraction of the effort. He's getting and money? piles more coin. Potions? I'm prepared to give you this vial <laughs> if off. you tell me where the man we <laughs> seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. This kiddo had a really good day. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, 
the right thing to bribe them with. I don't need uh, gold anymore because I have the master crafted armor and weapons already. The Grandmaster. So, I mean, I have like 26,000. <laughs> I'm not going to get anything. I just keep selling all the resources that I have. Sorry. Sorry. Red door. One that Boot Black mentioned. We shall talk later. Let's find Detlaf. We're close. I can feel it. Oh, his crows. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, yeah. pound on a drum and holler, <laughs> Detlaf, just... I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Lock picking with a nail. Give me a moment. <laughs> Uh-oh. It turned into farts. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Ew, no, I don't like that. Ew! I hate, like, dolls and toys and horror setting. And, like, Here. rocking chairs. Sense him. No, he's not here, but he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Why do you have so many teddy bears? Let's look around. <laughs> Toilets keep flushing mysteriously. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. Oh, that's so sad when you think about it like that. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. These puppets rather disturbing. Like when you are, when you are young and you are playing with like specific toys very actively, and then like at some point, you just don't anymore, and it, it's so sad in a weird way, but you are also like growing up, so kind of bittersweet, I guess. Oh, it's an eviction notice. Hmm. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Oh, it's turning to video games? Yeah. Letter to the shopkeeper. Dear Master. No appearance to buy me a toy. He always cries and says, Have we got any money? Daddy gets uh, cross when I ask him. Laura and Teddy Bear. And Michelle has a doll with golden hair that can brush with the real... That you can brush with the real comb. I worry that I will never have a toy. Wait. Oh, he was making toys for kids who could not afford them. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> okay, now I like this place. It's not creepy anymore. <laughs> what a creep! No! <laughs> Nice little trinket. Can I yoink it? Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. We can get that instead of Roach. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. Thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome in. Attic. Let's go. I wonder so if this is his nest. Huh. Need to look around. I wonder if these are also supposed to be kind of like alerting little traps, you know? He's gonna hear when someone is coming. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. 
Yeah, he's gonna say the same stuff. It's a face of a woman that he drew. I, I wonder if these crows are here to patrol for the vampire, the um, dendruff, <laughs> or did the, he send them here? I think it's dendruffs. Crows. Nice little trinket. Oh. Come on. It's a Woman's pretty likeness. Baby. Bit smudged. Is his lover? Reminds me of someone. Not sure. Hmm. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Hmm. Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. It loves theme. Oh, is that okay? I was thinking maybe some kind of an Easter egg. Tools were used recently. Dedlov unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really, now, Geralt, must you? <laughs> the sass. Ooh, that's a note. Look, slips of paper, name on each. People who he wanted to kill, maybe? Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Perrin, mm -hmm. Count de La Croix. Detloff's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. All of it written using the same ink. The person who passed him the note in his vision. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral, pretty much found only in Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. But it, they have to be rich, Look, right? This slip is stained with wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps, yet perhaps also worth remembering. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not suspecting him. I think he is being maybe blackmailed or maybe someone like threatened his lover. So he has to do these things or she's gonna die. I, I don't I don't think he is bad. Thank you, hello, welcome. Still got nothing, basically. Need to look around some more. Let's get to work. Because he, he seemed like a chill dude who was just living his life. But then after he got those notes, you know, there was something written in them that made him really scared. Suspicious letter. Ooh. Dead love, van der Eretain. You do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. <gasps> we know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlov killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Hmm, any idea who it could be? Any idea what it could be? Detlaf have any enemies? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. And it's also someone influential and rich, because the, the paper, um, imported, like, paper ink, um, stain of wine. They were probably just writing it while sipping rich, fancy wine, some, you know, just things like that. It had to be someone big and influential. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Mm. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came around to save me. Mm. Though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Can vampires and humans have a child? She's gone missing. What do you think happened to her? I mean, they kidnapped her, maybe. 
Take it you have your doubts. Don't think I so. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. Mm. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. I'm wondering if they were so close. Maybe, I don't know like when exactly this happened, but maybe the blackmailers also send her some kind of a letter that if you do not leave, we will kill Detlaf. So it's like this whole chaos. Detlaf ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important. Higher vampires have their ways, all kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched Hello, for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renewed knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. Damn. Even if Renewed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. I mean, I'm not accusing him of, like, because I, I understand this yeah, guy is defending him, right? He's out to rescue a female but, like, from I'm not his accusing pack. him. I get it. It's exactly. shitty. Blackmailer. Kind of curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart Thick on it till no more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence, clearly. Actually, it is. Deadlaugh's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowed. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. Be sure to return sooner or later. This marionette is actually like an will. interesting a wait with you, maybe. metaphor, no, right? He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail I mean, to appear. You know, I'd better stay alone. They you keep looking at it. This. Fine. Like, Need to report to the Someone Duchess is controlling first. him. So be it. We'll await you here. Like a marionette. Death, and I both. That's so sad. I really love uh, deducting and just yapping during stories. Which is why it's... I can't tell you guys that it's fun to watch movies with me because I will never shut up. Oh my god, who is this? Why is why is this person doing this? Could this be the killer? Maybe it's not the killer. What if this is the killer? Mary, I don't know. That's usually what I hear. <laughs> Just watch the goddamn movie. Geralt of Rivia. Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. <coughs> Step aside. Got a uh, matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. 
We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Oh. Um. Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. It's a high vampire. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? <laughs> when I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done. Need Verbena. Only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! <laughs> Your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end. This at guy once. is kind of suspicious, the isn't he? But tell us where to find this monster. <laughs> Maybe he's the one sending the letters. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, this is work for a witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. No. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekamaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What, then, do you intend to do? Duchess has really beautiful facial features. They're talking about vampires. Like, oh my god, her dress is so pretty. <laughs> wow, those gems. It's way beyond being some monster. <laughs> this is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Yeah, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. I mean, if you find <sighs> them, I guess. They'd be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. Ha. Know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, <laughs> not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human, and he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free, or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. An innocent woman has been abducted. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem, blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. 
I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the Blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! Ooh. In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here, there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop. <laughs> is the guy that they are calling just gonna get there like... <laughs> oh, yes. Le, le Bré Chemelier, 5,300. <laughs> just tell what it is. Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. <laughs> Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mm. Mm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the Saint Latour. He's going to eat the paper. Obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. Do you guys know this clip where the guy is trying the ice cream? And he's doing the... the... <laughs> so good. It's simple. Saint Real. The 1269 vintage. <laughs> That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello, especially and exclusively for the ducal table. <gasps> Perhaps some son real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard, see if there's not been an incident. Son real, never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I One said, mission. it is only ever served to the Ducal family. I'm excited. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Ravello at once. Discover what has happened. I like this DLC. It's very intriguing. I like it too. Wait. It's very your beautiful. Your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. He said that the lady in the picture I looks hope very. I do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We're gonna we will travel be like incognito. bickering. We've no wish to give the court any other. reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Let's go. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. I can't wait to see how she's gonna look like. It's like Yennefer's outfit. We're looking glasses. Yeah, I wanted to get rid of the hood and the only way to do that is to use the glasses. You know, he doesn't look bad. This vampire, have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Can we go faster? No, okay. So this is one of those missions. Go, go. Pan 
others have attacked the wagon. Slow now. We must help. Stay back, Your Grace. We shall see to this. Help! Save us! Back, you beast! Be gone! Sorry, kitties. Time to move on. If if not for you, we'd have been done for. Thank you. Bye. You saved our lives. Hooray! Huzzah! Where's Roach? Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in Old Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it. Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Mm, that's the sword, right? I'm using the kitty uh, set. Oh, I need to dye the gloves and the legs. Captain de la Tour. Remember that. We did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. She's especially so since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? That's how I go outside, by the way, with the hood and everything, because everyone knows who I am, so... <laughs> I had to be incognito. Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about San Real? I am at your service. Hmm. Had any wine stolen? Who got access to the vine? Okay, let's let's start from one. The San Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Sonreal. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally and let no one near the fat. Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. Hmm, interesting. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace, how am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. 
In either case, you shall answer for it. B but Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the I'm sorry. In person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Get him, queen. Remind me. Where is this Andreal stored? In... In the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. He, uh, she yelled silence. Silence in all caps. Damn. We shall wait here, Master I can see why. She is the Duchess. The Queen. What if Fabricio is blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Did she Fabricio invest? lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel mm. Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. This is so interesting. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. I can't read. Mm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Everything lines up at first glance, neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Okay, that's 1269. Ervelus. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Oh, it's a okay. No, it's a loose. Me. Est est. Est est. Think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world, Castel Ravello is famous for. It. Mm. This makes me want to pour some wine, but it's. It's not even 1 p.m. <laughs> Day drinking! Yay! Fiorano, Dandelion's favorite, adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palette of his. Got Pamino over here. Hmm... Come <laughs> time, you're fine. <laughs> the missing help stock. I don't know who would take it. I have no idea. We should investigate. Ah, there it is. Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Full. This one's full too. This one is full. I'm glad she's helping me. Because usually this one's full too. I, I will go through everything and then the last one is gonna be the one that I need. This one's full too. Hmm. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Maybe it's full of water. Full they are. The question is, are they full of Sanria? That's Grab what I'm thinking. The hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. Oh my god, we're gonna get drunk with the Duchess. Ready. Step aside. 
Poor guy. <laughs> we are destroying everything. So? Those hints of spice. Mm, distinctive. This is Sonreal. Also, really cheap wine has will potentially give you more like alcohol poisoning <laughs> or something. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. Mm. The fact that it did was no accident. I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. <laughs> Is cold. what I provide not enough? Man. I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? Thank you for the lurk. I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. Yeah, I mean, don't kill him. Who do you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I have no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Hmm. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool, very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Wine itself, how'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men, the kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there, they transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? At the last you ever saw of them? They... that is to say, a, a few days passed, a, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel, and, well, I've prepared it, have it ready to deliver. Um... Was was the wine that he was producing only only for court or something like the Duchess and everything? Like, why was he not allowed to maybe sell it to someone, some random person? OK, so it, he was basically just working for her. Got it. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Hmm. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. Don't High kill him. High in the charge. Oh, come on, that's... Uh... What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Oh. Centrian Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take <laughs> it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. 
like did he do something scummy sure but high treason that's a bit too much i think see no reason to wait let's get going we will set out now position ourselves before you arrive you take the cart and meet us there fine when the handoff begins watch for my signal there's people in their wine yeah wine enjoyers I need to buy some cute wine, uh, wine glasses. Hmm. It's more tasty when you drink from them. Relax, now we wait. You remember nobles are possessive? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Hello, welcome. <laughs> it's not just any wine. Bandits. Ah, our favorite vintner. It's not him. Okay, maybe we will become friends with this guy. We have to leave one bandit alive to question. From now on, he's magicking. <laughs> Is it just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. Thanks. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. Let's shake hands. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. She's here? Might have known she, she'd come. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. It's really nice, though, that she personally gets involved in these things, even though it's not safe for her. Um, it, it's nice to see a leader in a front line, in a way. Or the back. Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. <sighs> Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call him... Wait. If he doesn't wish to speak, he needn't. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? <laughs> I can do the the thing. 
We ha okay, we can scare him. We don't have to do this, but we can scare him. Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Greggy, no! Don't let them! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! <laughs> Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. <laughs> I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader, only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. We need necromancy now. Where is Yennefer? Who hired you? He... he'll kill me. Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Sintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the men for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Sintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Sintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, your grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. <laughs> I'm just gonna be fully thank you going like this. Let's Throw go them to in. Town. Throw everyone. I'm gaining levels so quickly. He's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side it's, effect uh, of my mutations. Yeah. We witchers rarely get the jitters. Can I become what a witcher, please? <laughs> Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can. But this Sintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Hmm. Could be a middleman. Still don't know this Sintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. Yeah, I mean, as I know. see it, that makes him an what accomplice. Is? Need to find the Sintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. I love these medieval clothes so much. I, I wish this wasn't the style nowadays. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Sintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. Mm. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. Damn. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. <laughs> I didn't do anything. What did you learn? Not the first time. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. 
A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. Hmm. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. Me? This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. Mandragora, what's that? The Mandragora, what's that? A club, an affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique, consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Hmm. Oh, she has a history with Dandelion? Really? I, I mean, I was kind of thinking about it, but I thought, like, Duchess wouldn't really, you know be with dandelion because she's a duchess but i guess not <laughs> gotta nab the Cintrian. seems we have to go to that get together you read I my mind witcher i shall gather my men surround the establishment not a mouse will squeeze through out of the question if the Cintrian truly does have men about the city but he will find out and escape once again duchess is right need to be careful Best go there, blend in with the crowd. That's a nice pop. Precisely what we shall do. We, your grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. <laughs> then meet me in Oatville. This thing in again. Mount Bank Alley. I'm gonna have to get some stuff from the chest. We're gonna go on a fancy. Oh! 